so I've been having a problem with the charger. Um, not a big problem, but it's an annoying one. Um, whenever I'm driving, it's actually very loud inside. And I don't understand why. And then I noticed that whenever I would turn the steering wheel a little to the left, slightly to the left, the noise will stop. It's more like, it's like a humming noise. It's almost like a, like an air compressor turned on. Just like, a, mm, just continuously. So when I hold the steering wheel like this, or even further to the left, it'll stop. When I have it straight or to the right, it'll make a really loud humming noise in here. And I'm gonna actually show you, I'm gonna turn off the, I'm gonna drive the car mount my phone up here and you'll be able to hear it and I'm thinking it's a power steering so I'm gonna try to flush the power steering and put new power steering just to see if it'll fix it so let me show you all right here we go so I'm turning left so it's not gonna be that loud but as I straighten up here you'll be able to hear it Okay, so I'm gonna do one more experiment, which I forgot. I'm gonna go onto this main street here to the right. I'm gonna make a right. And it's a pretty big street, so I'm gonna go straight and then you'll see me kind of slightly move to the left. I'm not gonna turn left. I'm just turning the steering wheel left and hopefully you can hear the loud noise go away. So I'm gonna go straight here. vacuum here uh, plug this up to an air compressor and flip the switch and it starts vacuuming liquid out this hose which I'm gonna put into the power steering reservoir oops pop that in there and uh, get most of the oil out oil, I mean power steering out of here So I can pull this out and one of the hoses down here, I think it's that small one, 
the return hose, I gotta remove that clamp and pull that um, that uh, hose out so I can start draining it from the hose. I'm gonna remove this bolt and this clamp here <coughs> for the hose. I don't have my tripod so I guess I'm just gonna have to chill right there. There's a bolt here. I gotta take this off so I can remove the whole box and I have better access to this reservoir. Look I didn't even need anything. It just came right off. Alright. And there goes the box. I think it's gonna be this thinner one. Gotta remove this. There we go. I'm oh, gonna need some pliers. All right, go pull. Got it. Wait, is it gonna pop up? Oh shit. Put the vacuum on it. No, it's coming out of this. Oh. Mm. A water bottle or something? Plastic water bottle. It's coming out of the reservoir. So I took the hose out, but it, the power steering is coming down, spilling onto the bottom here. So I'm gonna stop it real quick just to let you guys know that the vacuum I was using was a brake fluid vacuum and I found one on Amazon that's pretty cheap only like 32 bucks and it, this made the job really really easy to just take the fluid out so if you guys are interested this is um, a screenshot I took. Hold on. You have you don't have anything to catch it with. No, we're gonna put the. Yeah. Turn the other way. I don't want the bottle to over. No, no, you're fine. Yeah. No, no, you're fine. Keep going. Damn, it's black as shit. You ever seen black Gatorade? mug
power steering, my uncle whom works at Dodge in a different city. Um, I called him up and he said to use ATF4. It's a transmission fluid. So let's put this in there and see if it does anything about that noise. liquid's going down very slowly it's pretty dark so i don't even think you guys will be able to see it one second let me turn on the car gotta wipe my hands first so the liquid's just sitting here but i'm pretty sure it's gotta be once i turn the car on the on position and start moving the wheels back and forth it'll be sucked in so let's see if that works i think i gotta lift the car back up in order for me to turn the wheels all right well that didn't do anything it's still there so let me see maybe it is just full Way too full. Let's have a look. Yep, it did go down. I think it's just perfect though. Uh, I'm gonna take it out real quick. See how it is when you drive it. I'm gonna pause you guys and then put you guys inside. Alright, so I'm inside about to turn it on. That's what it needed. Luckily, we have a lot more. This is the second time I'm driving it now. I put some more. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. But I just did the same thing. I just topped it off. All right. So it didn't make that loud, nasty noise. Just checking it before I take off. Yeah. Alright, let me drive it now and see if it, if that noise went away. Feels pretty good right now. Alright. Oh shit, my trunk's open. Hold on. Let's go. humming noise that I was trying to get rid of that my uncle said it might have been this it's still there All right. I think for now I'm gonna leave it like that I topped it off again drive home 
check it when I get home. Yeah. They didn't go that. They didn't go down that much. A little bit. So we didn't solve it this time. Hmm. I'm gonna take it home like this. See. Um, see if I have to refill it when I get home. And obviously that uh, noise didn't go away, so I just got to keep looking for now. All right, let's pop the hood. Let's see what this looks like. And yes, it's still full there. So we're good. They didn't fix the problem, but, um, you know, at least I got that old dirty one changed. Now, in my old video, I was showing how my car just randomly stalls and a lightning bolt light turns on in the dash and my uncle said to check the throttle body. The lightning bolt is something to do with the throttle body that's sending messages to the PCM so he thinks that this might be failing so I might look into that switch it and see if um, it'll stop um, stalling randomly I'll let you guys know if that uh, fixes a problem now I'm off to Rouse catch you guys in the next one